Good afternoon everyone. I am running really really late with this tag. It should have been out on Tuesday and it is Friday today. So my apologies Sandy and everyone but I am doing it now. I'd like to thank Sandy from Life with Sandy for getting these questions together and sending them out to us. Uh, this is a no tag, so if you want to do these questions, please feel free to go ahead and let me know in the comments below if you've done it, and I will pop over and see your tag. So, without further ado, question number one. What temperature does it have to reach before you ditch your coat? Uh, probably around 14 degrees Celsius. Um, I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit, but yeah, around about 14, maybe 16 degrees. Question number two. Do you have a green thumb? And if so, what's your favorite thing to grow? Yes, I have a green thumb. I, I can grow just about anything. The one thing that I didn't think I could grow was carrots and parsnip, but I worked it out that if I planted on Labor Day in New Zealand, I always got a really good crop of carrots. That seemed to be the day that the frosts all sort of stopped. Um, my favorite thing to grow, uh, yeah, hmm. I think my indoor plants, I think are my favorite thing to grow. It's uh, taking them from cuttings. Although I did take cuttings of roses and I struck a number of roses and I was really pleased about that. I love roses. So that would be something that I'd quite like to do again. Question number three. What's your favorite thing to do with the extra hour of sunlight? Well, I don't like daylight savings, full stop. For me, if I'm getting up early, I will get up if the sun's streaming through the window or through the blinds or the curtains because the sun's up, so it's time to get up. And I think my body copes better when it's not because of daylight saving. When it's a forced time thing, it's so much harder. Um, but I prefer to get up early and just greet the day. I love the silence of that, that time between everyone else getting up and it's just so quiet. That's the time I love to do my morning pages and journal. Question number Four, what are your three favorite things to bring to a picnic? The three favorite things I like to take to a picnic are, I guess, the sort of things that my mother used to always bring. She would bring a banana cake and a chocolate cake because not everybody could eat chocolate. So she would have a banana cake with lemon icing and she would have a chocolate cake with a fudgy chocolate icing. Um, something else I like to take is sandwiches, getting the bread rolls and layering them with a lot of different fillings and then wrapping them and um, then when you get there, you just cut them into pieces. I think that's that's something that I like to do. Uh, question number five, do you prefer rainy spring days or sunny spring days? I love rainy spring days because I love rain. Uh, the rainy spring days, you tend to get some beautiful rainbows coming through and it's quite interesting seeing over one half of the sky is blue, but it's raining where you are and there's a beautiful rainbow on the other side. So yeah, I love rainy spring days. Question number six. If you could teleport, <laughs> you 
Kim, you don't have to fly. I like that. <laughs> you don't have to fly anywhere in the world for spring break. Where would it be? If I could teleport anywhere for spring break, it would be the Greek islands. Uh, I'd love to just relax in one of their white, um, I guess, cottages that have got the patios on the top where you're just looking out over the pristine blue Mediterranean Sea. Um, or just walking along the beach and stopping at a cafe somewhere. That would be bliss for me. Question number seven. What is your least favourite spring cleaning chore? Ceilings. Having to wash down ceilings. I don't like doing ceilings. So I used to always get someone else to do the ceilings. And I'm talking about the kitchen ceilings and the bathroom ceilings. Those are the two main ones that really need a good spring clean because you're cooking or you've got steam. So those two, I think, are my least favourite. I don't mind cleaning down walls and round light switches and plugs and things. That's fine. But it's the strain that it puts on your arms to do the ceilings. Um, but someone has shown me a trick with a sponge mop and um, a microfiber cloth. So that makes it a little bit easier. I don't need to get someone else to do it. Uh, question number eight. When you cook, are you a clean as you go person or um, clean up when you're finished? I'm a clean as I go. I always have been, I always will be, my mother was not and I just could not get over the messiness of the kitchen, the clutter, I just, I can't stand it, so I have to clean as I go and um, I have one housekeeper that um, she doesn't clean as she goes, she's a, at the end and I make sure I don't go down to the kitchen when she's on um, but she gets it all done it's just that we all have our different ways of doing things and um, it just makes me smile because I think of my mother so it's a lovely memory um, question number nine what was is your biggest life challenge you've ever experienced the biggest life challenge um, my biggest life challenge was walking away from my marriage. Um, that was that was really hard. When you feel that the uh, when you feel alone and there are people around you, but you don't feel happy, you don't feel comfortable, you don't feel like you belong you just feel like you're just tolerated. It's really hard to take that step to move out because then the questions are, where are you gonna go? Who's gonna help? Where are you gonna live? How are you gonna survive? All those sorts of things. So that's a huge life challenge. And I know I'm not the only one. There are a lot of men and women that have gone through that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that, that has been my biggest life challenge ever. Question number 10. What is the one sentimental item you own that you will never get rid of? The one sentimental item is a little teddy bear called Marmalade that I bought back in 1997. And he travelled with me to the UK and he sits on my desk. And this is him here. And I just love him. I called him Marmalade. But this is my little bear. And he has been to the UK with me twice. He has flown across the ocean. He's gone to Australia. And he will always go with me, no matter what. So, um... If there's anything that, um, if I'm only allowed to take one thing, then 
I take marmalade. So thank you for these questions, Sandy. They were actually quite enlightening. Um, and it's, it's interesting. I'm heading into my winter and you're in your spring. So enjoy. I know that there are a lot of spring things coming up. You've got spring break. Uh, you've got vacation time. Everybody just enjoy your spring and summer. I know that you've had a pretty rough winter this year, wherever you are in the Northern Hemisphere. I really enjoyed this tag and I am so sorry I was late, but I will be on time with the next one because it's already ready to go. If you're not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share if there's something in my content that you think may be of benefit to someone else. Bye.